Hey, good morning. Good morning. Thanks again for joining us this morning. Uh, Coach, you know, before we get to uh, any questions, um, your thoughts on last week's game against Idaho? Well, just um, disappointing for our football team. We're playing so well in so many areas, but one of the one of the key areas that we're not getting the job done up right now is just we're not scoring scoring enough points. Our special teams are playing the best they played in in a few years, and our defense has played the best they played since we've been here. But uh, when you're not scoring points, you don't have much to show for it. So, but we still are very optimistic because we are doing a lot of good things, and if we can find a way to to uh, get get the ball in the end zone, we still think that we can uh, can uh, put together some wins here uh, toward the end of the season and try to still reach some of our goals. So, but that will start uh, obviously offensively, and we've got to continue playing well in special teams and and defensively uh, to continue having a chance to do that. And coach, uh, short week coming up against uh, Georgia Southern. What really stands out to you when you look ahead at this game against the Eagles? Well, outstanding team. They've got a, a very active defense. Their defensive line will be one of the best defensive lines that we have seen. Very good up front. Their their front seven, including their linebackers, are very talented, physical, play hard. Um, they do an, an outstanding job there. And then offensively, obviously, run, run, run the option and run some stuff that you don't see every day. So that makes it a, a challenge to prepare for it, but really even a bigger challenge when you've got to prepare for it on a short week. And, Coach, last week, um, you know, your defense did not allow a touchdown in the second half for a third straight game. I, I mean, you, you mentioned in your opener how your your defense has been playing well. Can you take that going forward as um, a bit of encouragement as you head into this Thursday's game? Well, you definitely. And, and like I said, our, our defensive players are playing a lot of confidence right now. Uh, our, our team is confident. We've been in every game we've played with the exception of our first game against Boise and, and had opportunities to, to win each one of them. And, uh even against App State, our, our defense kept us in the game uh, a, a long enough that we, we just couldn't put some points on the board. So defensively, we've, we've got a lot of confidence. We're making some great halftime adjustments, and that's why we've been great uh, in the second half defensively. We're number one in the league in punt, and that's one of the reasons I think our defense has been so successful because we're pinning teams deep with our kicking game and our kickoff coverage units and making them have to – to drive the distance, and uh, but also one other plus that's probably helping our defense too is our offense, uh, one of the tops in the nation with fewest turnovers, and so we're we're not turning the ball over, we just are not making enough plays offensively, and we're not putting the ball in the end zone, we're selling for field goals, and that's that's really been the uh, the crux of it. If we could get seven instead of three the other night, then we would have had a chance to win win the football game. And coach, on the defensive side, you know Tremaine Lightfoot um, against against Idaho had, had a game high 13 tackles, tied with Otha Peters for the uh, game high lead. Um, what did you see from him on Saturday? The guys playing awfully well. Both those guys on the interior playing well. They're physical players. They run well, tackle well, and like our defense right now is tackling as well as we've ever tackled, if not better. Uh, and so just just proud of the way they're playing. Our front is doing a good job of uh, staying on getting their gaps and it's allowing our guys to make a lot of plays. And our secondary though is, is doing a nice job uh, of giving, giving those guys a chance to get home on some of the play actions and some of the pressures. And so they're just, they're playing well as a group. And uh, if we could just fix just one small area, which is a big area, but if we could just, like I said, fix the, the offensive part, our defense is going to give us a chance to win every, every football game we play. All right, Coach, thanks a lot for joining us this morning. We appreciate your time, as always. Okay, thanks a lot. Have a great one.